I need some milk. I top four energy and summon the blue eyed white dragon. This game's stupid. No, come on, you just gotta get into it. I'm gonna get a drink, what do you want? I uh, have blue raspberry slushy with nerds though. We have milk. I guess that works. So, give me the rundown. What I miss? Uh, I mean, you've been dead for a year. A year? Gosh, a year, man. You know, the last thing I remember was a new Spider-Man game was about to come out. Dude, how was that? It was. It was pretty good. It's pretty good, man. It's crazy. You know, actually, no, no, no. I want to play Call of Duty. You know, I never want to play Call of Duty. Is there? Did, did a new one of those come out? Is, is that good? Pretty good. <laughs> get a little, get a load of this guy. And you guys say I'm dead? S smile. Try it. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Do you do you need to like eat? No, 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 no. Actually, you know, on the way here, I stopped at Best Buy and I found out that they made a new Luigi's Mansion. So that takes top priority. Obviously, I'm gonna go play that. Catch you guys on the flip flop. Are you going to tell him that we sold all of his games? That they were stolen? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Yeah. Woo. I'm back. Miss me? Coco, where the heck have you been? I mean, you didn't write, you didn't call, you I didn't know. make videos for like so long. Like, why? Yeah. We missed you. Where the heck have you been for 15 months? And what the heck happened to you? That ought to shut him up. One of my favorite game series of all time is... Re Resident... Resident Evil. I love the dark and eerie atmosphere, I love the creepy enemies, and I love the story and exploration. Now that's only relevant because today's game is Luigi's Mansion 3, which is basically just a Nintendoized Resident Evil, except in a more colorful and cute way, and more of an emphasis on exploration. Now, I just want to play a Nintendoized Call of Duty. Oh, oh wait, Splatoon! You know, actually, Splatoon is nothing like Let's play. Mario, Peach, the Toads, and some other guy have been invited to a hotel. I haven't the faintest idea how they were able to decipher that from this. Maybe I'm just bad at reading, but those are just straight up scribbles. This entire first cutscene is incredibly charming. I don't know what it is about game characters doing normal things, but it always warms my heart. I swear, if Breath of the Wild 2 starts with Zelda and Link making dinner together, my heart will melt. A boy can dream. Once we get inside the hotel, we are greeted by some of the most friendly hotel employees I've ever seen. It's almost as if they're not actually real people and instead are ghosts, wearing masks to make themselves resemble smiling people. Nah. <laughs> but that would be cool though. And here is our host, Helen Gravely. You know, the one whose penmanship resembles that of a tire track. I shouldn't make fun. After all, she did just give us a free stay at her nice hotel. Might as well grab a good book and, oh, what? Was that book filled with chloroform? Oh, oh, I see. He was reading one of the Five Nights at Freddy's books. Yeah, 
relatable. But Luigi's slumber does not last long because after being startled awake by one of Peach's screams, he goes to investigate. Mario? <laughs> I, I, I'm sure he's fine. He's, he's just in the bathroom. Yeah, that, that's that's gotta be it. And see, Peach's tea is still here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she meant to drop that. And Bowser's hand is in the toilet. I, I'm sure that's normal. Oh, I see. It's not dark because it's nighttime. It's dark because magic. Okay. Oh look, it's Helen! Maybe she can- OH, SHE'S A GHOST! And she immediately starts telling Luigi about her plan to get him and the gang trapped in the hotel. There is someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas. <gasps> it's Bowser! Oh, yeah, that's right. Bowser is to Mario as King Boo is to Luigi. And Diabetes is to Guy Fieri. What do I mean by vengeance? Well, I'd assume it has something to do with the three in the title, but you're welcome to surprise me. I'm going to trap you and your friends in fl flames. <laughs> what the? F oh, oh, frames, frames. <laughs> I, I actually thought it said flames for a second. Frames aren't that bad by comparison. But before King Boo can exact his revenge, Luigi makes like yesterday's used socks and throws himself down the laundry chute. Soon after that, he conveniently finds the poltergust in the hood of a random car. Now this is where the real game begins. Now I'm free to explore the hotel and suck up all the secrets out of every inch. Except this stupid ghost dog keeps trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, puppy, I know I'm supposed to open that safe, but I'm a little busy doing important things over here. Shut up! Titus, no one cares what you care about. Let me play my game. <laughs> Titus, shut up! Stop barking! Gosh. <laughs> Titus, I swear. <laughs> Titus, stop barking. No. Let me play my game, okay? What what could be so important that you have to go barking? You why? Stop. Please. Just hush up. Not long after, you get to fight your first ghosts. The ghosts are by far the best part of the game, aside from all the exploring. Every ghost, no matter how insignificant, has such a big personality, and fighting them is super fun. Finding ways to stun them, either with a flashlight or finding a way around some sort of shield, and then sucking them up is just so satisfying. But new to Luigi's Mansion 3 is the ability to slam ghosts around as you suck them up. It's super charming and Oh, oh, oh gosh, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty violent. Luigi, what are you doing? Stop, stop! Luigi has no remorse. All of these ghosts will pay. Feel the wrath of great Mario. Even baby ghosts cannot escape his terror. Who are you gonna call? Child Protective Services! And the Oscar for best original joke in a YouTube short goes to... Tom's cock, aka Toka. Wow. Oh my. Wow. Thank you so. Thank you so much. Wow. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You know, when I first thought to make a joke comparing Ghostbusters to the Luigi's Mansion, they told me I was crazy. They said no one would ever get the joke. They said no one's ever done it before. But now here I am, holding this award in front of all of you guys. Toka, will you be uploading regularly now that you're back? That's a that's a great question. Thank you. And everything Luigi sucks up looks absolutely terrified. Ghosts? I don't wanna die! Mice? 
this bird? Tell my wife I- Oh my gosh. The ghosts killed the hotel employees? I take it back, these ghosts deserve to die. Those employees didn't do anything. Whoa, Professor Egad, let's go save him. All right, now let's go save him. Once you save Professor E. Gad, who is the scientist that made the poltergeist, he asks Luigi to help him escape. But Luigi tells him that he will not leave without his brother and friends. To which E. Gad replies, uh... E. Gad is an interesting guy. First of all, he walks like Sonic the Hedgehog after first discovering his sonic speed. And he laughs at Luigi when he gets scared. Take it back! And even though he's a genius that invented a machine that can capture ghosts, as well as a light that turns paintings into real life objects, apparently he can't fix a functional elevator with a few missing buttons. So it's up to Luigi to find the buttons. Are you sure you good? Are you really sure you can't just make new buttons or something? I mean, he makes up for his incompetence by making even more cool gadgets like the, the virtual boy. Wait a second. I see what you're doing, Nintendo. You're trying to push the blame for the Virtual Boy on poor old E. Gad. You can't do that to him. I mean, sure, he laughs at Luigi's pain and he doesn't see the benefit to saving your loved ones, but he doesn't deserve the Virtual Boy. What, you gonna blame amiibo shortages on him too? Oh, it was Professor E. Gad. He sniffed too much polterdust. Shameful, Nintendo. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting edge stuff. Virtual Boy is so advanced it can't be viewed on conventional TV or LCD screens, featuring a three dimensional court with depth that only Virtual Boy can deliver. Once you get the Virtual Boo, which is what the game calls it, EGAD doesn't ever leave you alone for too long. In classic Nintendo fashion, if you have not progressed in five minutes, he gives you a hint. I really do not like this. It really takes away from the excitement of figuring out puzzles by yourself. I just wish there was an option to turn it off. Wait, what's this? What? No hints? No, no hints? I'm free! Oh my gosh, it's like the original game. I can do whatever I want. Nintendo, I know you aren't perfect. Let's face it, it's almost impossible for you to do wrong in my eyes. And you've made some pretty bad mistakes. I won't pretend like Mario and the Zelda CDI games never happened. I won't ever forget Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. And honestly, I don't really like Super Mario Galaxy 2. It just feels like a fan-made mod of the first game. I don't know why people like it. But this? Giving us an option to turn off hand-holding in Luigi's Mansion 3? By George! If you've ever done anything right, it is this. The last new addition I wanted to talk about is Gooigi, who is a jelly version of Luigi that can be summoned at any time to solve problems. He's just as charming and innocent as Luigi. There are a ton of things you can do in this game, but Gooigi is my favorite. He can fall through grates and walk through cages, and that's really about it. But he's so cute and also mysterious i have a few questions about him that i'd like answers to how can he suck up things like he has a poltergust when he's clearly made of goo does he have feelings is he single how can he pick up things without things falling through his body how does jelly flashlight does he think about changing the color of his goo will he eventually want to kill luigi so that he can be the only luigi does he like super mario galaxy 2 if so why? And that's where I'm done for the day. I only covered the game up to the fifth floor because I didn't want to spoil anything for you guys because the game is really awesome and definitely worth checking out. And everything above the fifth floor is like theme floors, like the garden floor, like a night floor, and like a movie floor. It's really cool stuff. Now I hate to leave you guys in a rush, but I still got a lot of movie watching to catch up on and I'm gonna start with Star Wars Episode Eight. This is gonna be good. Dang it.